Number six, this little babe. Whew. This is the most technically challenging of all the movements. And it involves playing a bunch of repeated chords. And of course that's rather annoying on the harp because we get we get all this replaced sound. It's one thing if they're really quiet. But as you start to get louder, it's really hard to play fast and loud without getting that buzzing and that re that replacing sound. So much easier on the piano. So when you are first looking at this, just practicing slowly, you know, coming off, replacing from above. as possible to replace so that you're playing and replacing right at the same time. You know, you're right there. How how quickly can you place and play? sound of the chord so that both hands sound as much alike as possible. as much surface noise as you can and you, uh, it's hard it's hard so the finished you know the finished piece we get uh, wasn't wasn't the best but uh, one of the things to think about is that last note going into the downbeat again it's a weak position note pay attention to that it really drives us into each bar we get Especially in the first section, I find when you have a and there's this little baby, um, it's tricky. Uh, if this is memorized, you can just glue, you know, glue your eye to the conductor as much as possible, and again, read the vocal part, and uh, and again, this will also depend on the choir because it's hard for the choir too. So the better the choir is, the easier this is going to be. Um, as we, as we come out of these where we're doing, uh, there's no way that I'm catching this whole chord, and you'll notice he has that bottom row in parentheses. I don't even actually catch the first chord. Um, I just go straight. Uh, again, if you can, wow, more power to you, but uh, otherwise it's, it's plenty powerful enough. You get plenty of noise enough without getting that bottom note. Um... And then as, as we move it towards the end, just again, be aware of what the player does because it's a little bit tricky because you're playing when they're not. Um, uh,
can happen is you can be dragged into wanting to do these chords with them, which of course is not you're you're, you're on the you're bouncing back and forth, and so that uh, in this section as well, they, just the rhythm is maybe not what you expect. So make sure that you listen to the listen to the recordings and uh, spent time looking at the vocal part if possible.